If it's your first time tuning in, this is the latest video in my Kingston to Ottawa, Ontario road trip series. We spent a few days sightseeing and exploring in the Kingston area, visited a former maximum security prison, took a Thousand Islands cruise in Gananoque, and we ate lots and lots of food. Like a lot of food. Then we made the drive to Ottawa to continue the fun. Unfortunately, due to COVID, most places had reduced hours or still weren't open, but we didn't let that stop us from experiencing this city and finding fun things to see and do. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and sit back to enjoy the sights of Ottawa. While well, we've arrived in Ottawa and checked into our hotel, we're staying at the Ottawa Marriott Hotel and it's located right downtown and close to some of the parliament buildings and other sites here. We have no plan for this afternoon or tomorrow, so we're just gonna wing it and see what we see and enjoy not having any sort of routine or itinerary for the next couple of days. After checking into our hotel, we decided it was the perfect time to go get something to eat and obviously something to drink. So we came to the Mill Street Brew Pub here in Ottawa and we each got a flight and sampled all of the beers. Our meals were really great. My husband got the tortier and I got the Buddha Bowl and they were both fantastic. We also shared those. And then at the end of the meal, we heard that they partnered with a local creamery and they had a few different ice creams that were special to hear. So we decided to try the key lime and the apricot and those were amazing as well. We really liked the location. It's kind of down in a little area by the river and it was very breezy and lots of trees around. So it was like a nice patio experience. And now we don't really know what we're gonna go and do, but we're gonna go try and find some of Ottawa's sites. Since Ottawa is the capital of Canada, we're pretty sure we're gonna find some good stuff. Right outside the Mill Street Brew Pub, they have this awesome map that shows where you are. So we are here, and then just across the river is Quebec. This is Ottawa, this is Gatineau, Quebec. So you can just walk across to Quebec if you wanted to. And here are all the sites that we can go see that are in the area. So we might try some of these out. Stay tuned to see where we end up. We did a lot of walking in Ottawa and found some pretty interesting buildings, local wildlife, lots of museums, and we made it to the Parliament Buildings of Canada. These are beautiful buildings. I really love how detailed the roofs are. Definitely an incline here. <laughs> and it's not because we are out of shape, though we are out of shape, but there's a large incline to get up here to the House of Commons. Well, it seems like Canada's getting some work done, so I'm not going to be able to show you the beautiful picturesque parliament, but this is what we can see in here behind me, and I guess it's going to be really pretty when it's done. Parliament Hill is home to Canada's federal government, where representatives from across the country gather to make laws for Canadians. You can do tours inside of the parliament buildings, but unfortunately, we weren't able to do one on this trip due to COVID. I do remember going with my parents when we were younger, so it's definitely a fun family activity when the tours resume. This is the Centennial Flame, and it was originally lit in 1966, and in 2017, this monument was created to celebrate 150 years of Confederation here in Canada. You are currently free to explore the grounds on self-guided tours, but try to plan around the construction when you visit. The Parliament buildings are located on a hill, if the name wasn't a giveaway, 
and have beautiful views of the river below and areas of the city. And around the grounds, you will find different monuments and tributes to past leaders of Canada. Well, in case you were wondering if there was construction happening all the way around the Parliament buildings of Canada. There is. Yes, there is. And it is not the perfect time to come for some picturesque pictures of the Parliament buildings, but it's still pretty nice, so we are glad that we came. But now we're gonna try and find something that isn't under construction here in the capital city of Canada. Just a short walk from Parliament Hill was the Rideau Canal a National Historic Site of Canada. This famous waterway includes a series of locks that travel from Kingston all the way to Ottawa and cater to recreational boaters, including canoeists and kayakers. In the winter, the Rideau Canal freezes and transforms into a popular destination for ice skaters as the entire canal acts as a skateway route. Through our sightseeing walks around the city, we also found street art, more monuments like this one paying tribute to Canada's unknown soldier, and the Aboriginal Veterans Monument honoring Indigenous war heroes. There was even a tribute to Canadian jazz musician Oscar Peterson, and fun fact, his daughter actually taught at my elementary school when I was growing up. We continued our walk through Ottawa and found City Hall, more monuments, and famous Spark Street, a pedestrian mall with shops and restaurants where you can pose with the Ottawa sign, and this is also where we found the perfect spot for dinner. Dinner at Three brewers or trois brasseurs, if we are speaking en français. What did you get? Uh, chicken BLT, which looks amazing. A nice house salad because I want some of your onion rings. Yeah, we're gonna share our onion rings and salad. And I got the Normandy burger, which has like brie or camembert on it, and it looks delicious. Look, so it's just melting down the I know side. it's melting right down the side. And we're gonna dig in right now. Well, that does it for this video. Tune into the next one to see us visit a famous estate across the border in Quebec. And we also stop by the famous Byward Market. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more travel videos coming soon.